In this example, we will discuss the projectile motion. The question is that the pilots of an airplane carrying a package of a mail to a remote outpost wishes to release the package at the right moment to hit the recovery location A. What angle theta with the horizontal should the pilot's lens of sight to target make out the innocence of a release? The airplane is flying horizontally at the altitude of 100 meters with a velocity of 100 km per hour. Here is the big question is just how we could get this x value the airplane to the target the horizontal distance should be known to get that lens of sight angle theta. Now to do this try to construct this one as a particle here and then the horizontal tends from this point to the target A is just like say that this is X and the vertical distance is given as 100 meter let's say the initial point is location as Y and then this port as X the projectile is launched in this way but the line of sight is calculated from here so the theta is measured from X axis to the line of sight to the target this is theta for calculating this part to get the angle theta, we have to know the value of x. Once we have to the value of x, it's just a matter of geometry. So we can just simply use a tan theta to relate this vertical distance and the horizontal distance. That means tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. 100 over x this implies that theta is equal to tan inverse of 100 over x so the only unknown parameter here for calculating theta is x so let's calculate this x value a constant acceleration principle for a projectile motion this is a constant acceleration and then there is an acceleration in the x direction and the only acceleration will be in the y coordinate now let's do this one now from the given part we have the horizontal axis is zero that means the initial velocity is launched in the horizontal direction which means v naught is horizontal so we have no any vertical components that means the initial component of velocity in the x direction is v naught and which is equivalent to 200 km per hour and when we convert it into meter per second we have 200 times now the equivalent of kilometer per hour is just times one kilometer will be in the lower part times the equivalent of this is 1000 meter is 3600 seconds however we cancelled out this kilometer we cancelled out this Finally, v naught x becomes 55.56 meter per second, and then we have not any y component of velocity, not in the y direction is zero, no, no initial velocity in the y direction. Once we have this, let's try to calculate the x position 
Now to do this for a constant acceleration motion, we have a formula S is equals to S naught plus V naught times T plus half A T squared, if you remember this one. Now instead of S, let's substitute X in the horizontal direction, X is equals to X naught plus V naught X times T plus half AX times T squared but we have no any initial position we have no any horizontal acceleration in the X direction because the velocity is constant so the only unknown parameter will be x is equals to this imply that x is equals to v naught x times t now substitute the numerical velocity because v naught x is 55.56 so x finally will be equals to 55.56 times t let's have this part as equation one let's write down in this way so to evaluate x we have to know about the value of t now to get this value of t let's apply the displacement function in the y direction that means y is equal to y naught plus v naught y t plus half a y t square but we have no any y position no initial y components of the velocity and acceleration in the y is negative g this implies that So y will become minus 1 over 2 g t squared. If we rearrange this one, so finally we'll have t squared is equal to minus 2y over g. And it indicated that t can be under radical minus 2y over gravity. Now we have the value of y, we have the value of gravity, the only unknown parameter will be time. So t now is equal to under radical minus 2 times the value of y is it's negative 100 because it's in the downward direction over the gravity is 9.81. So time finally can be 4.52 seconds. Okay, now substitute the value of t in equation 1. x will become 55.56 times time is now 4.52 and it will become 251 meter. But this position this is x is 251 and y is 100 now theta will be theta is equals to time inverse of opposite over 100 cents 100 over 251 so it will become time inverse of 0 0.398 finally theta value is 21.7 degree this is the final answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our youtube channel we will present you different interesting videos